and in this video you are going to watch about the networking device and we are going to discuss bridges today so let's start there are two categories of connecting devices networking and inter-networking devices networking devices have basically two categories that is repeaters and the bridges so networking devices operates at the physical and the data link layer and inter-networking devices operates at the network layer and the upper layer of the osi 7 layer model and in inter-networking devices have routers and gateways so in this video we are going to discuss this part that is bridges so bridges operate at the physical and the data link layer that's why bridges are called two layer switch now bridges bridges operates at physical and the data link layer it has the provision of regeneration of the signals whatever it receives from the source computer before transferring to the next computer system okay data link layer transfers message in the form of frames and it deals with the physical addressing of the computer system so basically bridges operates and connects the different computer system with the help of their physical addresses see here are two lands this is land one and there are different computer system that are connected in land one and this land is connected to this bridge with the port one and here i'm showing you another land it has so many computer system each having their separate physical address and it is connected this LAN is connected to the port 2 to this bridge so basically here bridges are connecting two different LANs two different local area network and making it acting like a single LAN so basically we are using bridges to extend the capacity of the LAN so bridges have a special feature that is called the bridge table in the software form this table contains two columns that is address these are the physical address of the computer system connected with this bridge see here are four computer system connected with this bridge and this is the port number port number is basically their LAN number to which it is connected to the bridge so this table it uses to transfer the message from the source computer to the destination computer so let us discuss the bridges in more detail see this is the diagram which i'm going to show and i will show you uh, the filtering the filtering function of the bridge see here a computer is the source computer which is transferring some message to the d computer and this is within one lan this is uh, in a single LAN so it do not requires bridge okay and here a computer want to send some message to the G computer which is in another LAN so in this case bridge is required and to complete this process of transfer bridge will make use of this bridge table to identify the respective source and destination computer and if the computer has to transfer the message within a single LAN then it do not require any bridge so uh, whatever information has to be transferred within a LAN or outside a LAN it is filtered by bridge filter filter means within the network messages are transferred without the use of bridge are filtered from the messages which needs the help of bridge for their transfer so this is filtering so important characteristics of bridges are they have the routing table which is called the bridge table which have we have already discussed next is filtering process that i have already shown you next is forwarding forwarding basically it is passing the information passing the frames from one network to another and also this bridge contains some algorithms to take the right decision so bridge now discuss some after discussing bridges we'll discuss switches so switches also operate at the physical and the data link layer but they have some additional advantage that is they have the intelligence intelligence in the form of algorithms they can 
decide to which pathway to follow to transfer a frame from one computer system to another computer system in the same network or different network so basically it implements the switching at the mac addressing level okay and this will speed up the network and reduces the congestion because of the smart decision and intelligence application within the switches so this is a switch and these are the different ports and different cables that are coming from different computer systems and they have the inbuilt software to take decision of the right transmission so friends this was all about bridges and switches thank you thank you so much for watching